Hi, welcome to episode 7, Oil Based Undercoat. I'm not going to show you the procedure on how I paint this frame. I've already shown you that in the uh, acrylic undercoat episode. I basically want to really explain the difference between the oil based undercoat and the acrylic. Right, hi, I wanted to talk to you now about the difference between oil based undercoat and acrylic primer. This episode is about oil based undercoat and I just want to sort of show you, compare the differences really, I'm not going to sort of go through and show you procedures on painting the frame, That's what we've done that already in the uh, earlier episode of acrylic in and you're going to see it again later on in the glossing one and basically the frames, well the archaves, the door line and the, and the door stock which makes up that complete uh, door frame, they all come in primed whether it's pre-primed on the, M the MDF or the door linings and the door stops get primed at the factory or perhaps at a building company's yard but basically when the carpet is fixed it all together where with nail pins and screws whatever they're using it's ready to be filled and uh, it's had one coat of primer. Well the next stage really is for us to fill it which you've seen earlier on in the episodes and um, we're then going to apply the first coat of acrylic primer which is the water based one. These frames really need four coats from scratch uh, to bring them up to a decent standard. And the first coat, like I say, gets done at the, the uh, factory. The second one, which the, the acrylic primer gets done at on site. And then the third one is another undercoat before we gloss, but it's going to be an oil based one. Now, with the oil based undercoat, undercoat, it tends to just suck up the the gloss a little bit, it's a little bit more porous, it sucks it up a little bit, it can take a little bit of the life of the gloss out, but with the oil base on the coat that's quite, uh, it's almost sort of sealed in a way and uh, the gloss just sits on it lovely, so well, I'm going to go for a quick recap of the uh, episode so far, I think we've got coming up now, we've got uh, the glossing one coming up next and I want to try and show you one at the end, uh, walking around the, the show flat, which is with the show apartment, which is really going to be the finished product. And uh, going back to episode two, where were we had the first episode one, sort of introduction really to new builds. In episode two, we started off by talking about uh, filling and corking and uh, getting that stage right. Then we moved on to episode three, we were talking about sanding it all down, getting all the dirty mess out of the way, hoovering up. And uh, it's always nice when you can go and have a break, which it's lunchtime, whatever, and come back. It's open the windows up and let it all blow through. It's all fresh for you. And uh, just trying to look after yourself on new builds, so it can be dirty and dusty if you let them be like that, where you're just rubbing a frame down and you're painting a frame and you're just always in dust. Just try and get out of that where you're doing your dirty work with a dust mask on and say, look after yourself. Especially you get old, you start thinking about things a little bit more. And um, moving on from there, we went on to uh, acrylic in the door frames and skirting boards and window sills with a three inch brush, my favourite purdy one, and a sash brush. Uh, moved on from there, and we motioned the walls. We have obviously had preparation and um, done the first coat. I showed you how to do the cutting in and rolling. We've done the same again on the second coat with a little bit more filler in between on the walls. And um, we come on to the other coat today, really, just sort of going through about how to do the frame and uh, the reasons for using the undercoat rather than the acrylic primer. and. Um, yeah, we're now going to move on to the gloss and we're just about getting to the end of the series really, so uh, thanks for watching. Any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or email me at um, decoratewithdicky at gmail.com and um, see you soon.